Well, it does, yeah. I mean, we're talking, uh, you know, you've got north of the metro areas like Ames are included in this. We've got this all the way down into Missouri. So I'm going to hop on my computer here and I'm going to show you exactly what we're dealing with. You can see the severe thunderstorm warning that we have in place, a pretty expansive warning because of the winds that we've had associated with this storm. We've had winds anywhere 60 to 65 miles per hour. So to break some of this down for you here, you can see pockets of those winds. And granted, this is a little bit elevated because we're dealing with just slightly higher uh, areas in the atmosphere, but 60 to even 70 mile per hour winds with this. So this is going to continue to progress eastward and northward. I'll put it in motion here for you um, so we can get an idea of exactly where we're talking about this heading. But areas to the east of there, like Iowa Falls, are eventually going to be included in this. Um, and we'll eventually see this uh, push its way a little bit further to the north, too. But again, as this pushes eastward, uh, again, we're going to have that crossover 65. So um, some other areas that could be impacted, I want to zoom out here and we can get a better look at uh, the whole system because we've got more storms that are working their way in from the south. And you can see those some of those even severe south down near Ottumwa at this point. So hopping over, taking a look at velocity with this again, it's pretty high up. We're kind of in a little bit of a radar gap as you get further to the south, but winds again around 60 miles per hour. Haven't seen much as far as hail is concerned with these, but it's been a pretty active day uh, up near the metro. I want to put a line on these winds here and give you guys an idea of exactly when they're going to be headed your direction. So let's push these up a little bit. We'll Put them out. Uh, we've got Blairsburg in about a minute, Florence one minute, Ellsworth coming in at two minutes, Clary in six minutes, Rowan coming in at 15 minutes. So this area of winds strengthened a little bit, but again, we're not dealing with anything tornadic uh, like we were a little bit ago, but still a very strong complex of storms that is making its way eastward throughout that northern portion of the state. And you can see there's more where this came from. Um, we've got that tornado watch out again. That's for central southern portions of the state. This line of storms is going to continue to develop. And if they can stay discreet or isolated on their own, uh, we could see some tornadoes form along with those. And even if they form into a line, those tornadoes would be slightly weaker, but there's still a chance that we could see some of those. So that's something that we're going to continue to track here. Uh, but yeah, we've got an active day ahead, guys.